really easy for white if white were to put his king on on b1 and his bishop on c1 that would be more or less absolutely ideal because you can oscillate with mm -hmm. your king you could uh, king a2 king b king d3 okay yeah. the king is going in a different direction queen to b1 wait a minute now the pieces are a bit awkward king no king c2 king c2 good it's move. all good. good it's move. all good king b1 and bishop c1 i think is the most absolutely oh, yes. safest, safest fortress, fortress yeah. of he all found time. the fortress and then get the rook to c3 and, and that's absolutely, it yeah. that's it absolutely yes so i'm thinking the bishop will get bishop to c1 well, for the moment rook uh, comes to c3 wait a minute no that's fine you don't have to put the bishop on c1 you just have to defend it with the king yeah and then you go rook e5, rook g5, the bishop stable by the king. Exactly, that's what I thought. The as king well. will stay also on the queen side to guard the b2 pawn as well. Right. So rook goes back to e5. And Levon, <laughs> our number one seed, looks like he's about to play the number two seed in the tournament in the finals finals and mm -hmm. you know fabiano is in watching his hotel this room is watching right now exactly exactly well, he's probably Waiting at home here before final chance right not really changing much in the position no it does not everything is covered everything is protected that's if, if you play chess like that, you'll never get hit with a, a, a double attack. <laughs> with everything protected, everything covered. And I think both uh, players right now know Recognize that, that uh, This might be it. Yep. Rook to e5, never mind b5. Look at Levon. <laughs> He's going to go rook e5, bishop e3, and b6 too. Uh, saying, I think look, if you're going to give me an extra pawn, rook e5, rook g5, or linear is just going to go for the perpetual at this exactly. point. Exactly. There's nothing he can do. It, it's just his king never got at into some a point. Position. You just have to accept it. Yeah. And that looks like a four. It's a difficult position. realization, but, but this match is over for wow. linear. Well done. Just well, well done, done. Levon. Keeping the defense there, it got very sketchy. Of course, he was winning out of the opening. Yes, so, yes. But somehow they managed to get it a really weird position. Lanier with this great rook h2 trick, but it was just not quite enough. As we say goodbye to Lanier, we do want to say thank you so much for all the quality chess you brought to this year's American Cup 2022 Championship. And we have the finals all set, Alejandro. Playing for $50,000 are gonna be Grandmaster Levon Aronian playing against Grandmaster Fabiano Corona. That starts tomorrow. Back into a classical match. Back into a classical match, and we will have the number one seed facing off against the number two seed of the event. Who could have foreseen that? Hard to say, right? <laughs> but we still have more action for you guys because